want to attack cards these days because they're looking for specific nodes. Maybe the Destiny. I was like, wow, I, I didn't even know. Good for them. Yesterday was the first time she said people wanted love. I uh -huh. um, And then, but like I said, always as many attack livers as possible. People just want love. Yeah, livers. People want lower extremities too, which that's, that's simple. I mean, that's easy. Undercover videos by investigators with the Center for Medical Progress exposing the grisly practices of Planned Parenthood. Now the government watchdog group Judicial Watch fighting for more answers. It filed a lawsuit against Health and Human Services after the agency failed to comply with two Freedom of Information requests. The agency has yet to provide Judicial Watch with information about the contact it's had with Dr. Deborah Nukatola a Planned Parenthood executive who you saw on the tape talking about selling body parts of aborted babies. For more, let's welcome in the Director of Research and Investigations for Judicial Watch, Chris Farrell. He's also a board member of the organization. He joins us via Skype from Washington. Chris, as always, we appreciate your time. Exactly what records are you requesting? Uh, it appears that the doctor had a contractual relationship with Health and Human Services uh, in an advisory capacity, right? So she was essentially providing uh, consultations, advice, assistance on a contract basis with Health and Human Services. And so our objective is to document that, just exactly what was she doing, on which projects, uh, how much was she being paid, for how long, we want the details. We want to uh, examine and understand exactly what her relationship was and where your tax dollars were going. So in common parlance, it's a sweetheart deal. She works at Planned Parenthood. We, uh, we saw her on the video, and she also did contract work for HHS. So uh, taxpayer money going for a lot of things uh, to further... Uh, the doctor's pursuits, correct? Right. I mean, she had involvement in these various programs and projects that Health and Human Services was running. And so, well, what was she doing? What did, what did she get paid for? Um, these are important questions. And, you know, the videos, the remarkable undercover work that they did, I mean, real, real investigative journalism um, that uncovered th this outrageously gruesome practice um, the American public deserves to know what kind of money is being spent to subsidize this doctor and her activities. And the same alphabet networks that indict the undercover videos as being, quote, heavily edited as if all of their nightly reports are not, these same alphabet networks, have they offered any time to Judicial Watch to document what you are doing in terms of exposing uh, this relationship? Or have they even covered the fact that HHS is not turning over the documents you've requested in the Freedom of Information Act? Uh, there's a thundering silence from those quarters. Um, they're terrified of this kind of reporting, not just this reporting with respect to Planned Parenthood and their grisly activities, but Frankly, the work of Judicial Watch more broadly, they're terrified of. We do the work that they've given up on long ago, uh, and on any number of different fronts, whether it's government corruption issues, scandals within the Justice Department, et cetera. They have no interest in covering those stories, so uh, they're, they're reticent at best to, do it, to go anywhere near this kind of reporting. Well, apart from media bias, we've covered this rhetorical turf before, the fact that Congress has a legitimate role of oversight, but it appears that it is Judicial Watch through these FOIA requests, these Freedom of Information Access requests, that really is engaged in the kind of aggressive oversight that is needed. Do you expect now the select committee set up in the House to be chaired by Marsha Blackburn to build on some of the work you're doing, or will a congressional subpoena heighten uh, the stakes for HHS. Can they ignore that? We've got about 45 seconds left. There's two different processes. One is political, and that's the House and those committees. And the other is a legal process that we exercise. We use the open record laws, and we go into federal court, and that's the difference. We're compelling production of records by legal process. They're engaged in political kabuki. 
Well, that is, uh, that is the way to put it, as we see scenes from Planned Parenthood, quote, clinics around the country. Just, just one final note, Chris. Uh, we hear all this talk about women's health. Uh, really, any women's health issues uh, being treated at these Planned Parenthood clinics? Fifteen seconds. I mean, look, their Planned Parenthood, their business is abortion. Uh, do they do other things? Yes. But their business is abortion, and that's why it's so controversial. Chris Farrell, Director of Research and Investigations for Judicial Watch. Sir, once again, you have our thanks. You heard what Chris had to say. Your comments, we'd love to get them. Send them to me. NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. There's more ahead, so stay tuned.